بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور پروجیکٹ آئیٹل اس اے آئی بیس ٹرائیور لیس کار یوزنگ ہائی کمپیٹیشنل ایمبیٹڈ سسٹم مائی نیم اس نین عباس مائی گروپ میمبرز آر مسٹر آسم علی اینڈ مسٹر محمد عامر زمان اور سپروائزر اس انجینئر موہی سرور اوان اینڈ اور انڈسٹریل سپروائزر اس ڈاکٹر خرشید حسنین سو فرسٹ آف آل کمنگ ٹوڈز انٹروڈکشن ٹرانسپورٹیشن اس چینجنگ ریپڈلی ایز فوکس فالنگ اسٹرانگلی آن سیلف ڈرائیونگ کارس As far as technology goes, we are far closer to have autonomous cars on the roads. They are known by several names such as autonomous cars, self-driving vehicles, etc. Autonomous refers to increasing levels of automation in a driver-controlled car. The development of autonomous cars is strongly linked to the need and drive to enhance safety in vehicles. It turns out that people are pretty bad drivers. In 2013, over 1 million deaths occurred on the roads worldwide. This is the 8th leading cause of death globally and the number one cause of young people. Global losses due to road traffic injuries are estimated at over half a trillion dollars. Human errors around for 90% of all vehicle crashes. So, we wanted to design and develop an HPC-based embedded driverless car for autonomous movement to avoid human interaction as it is the need of the future. So, this is Jetson Nano that we are using in our project as a GPU. GPU is basically a graphical processing unit that is used for fast processing in case of graphical data. Jetson Nano computes data on a high speed at it has 128 cores Maxwell architecture and we can see it has a micro SSD slot, 40 pin expansion header, several ports such as Ethernet, USB, DB port, HDMI and two CSI camera connectors and we can power up Jetson Nano by two sources by micro USB 2.0 or DC barrel jack. In the system design we have a block diagram. The camera sends input images at real time to Jetson Nano. Nano then performs all processing on input data and sends instruction to Arduino. On the basis of instructions received, Arduino guides motor drivers that are controlling car's movement. Now we have internal structure of our car. As you can see in the image, there is an Arduino Uno Jetson Nano, power bank for Jetson Nano, a LiPo battery for Arduino and motors, motor driver for two motors and another motor driver for other two motors. The car was constructed using metal sheet of 24 by 30. Here is the external structure of our car. As you can see the lights at the front, the camera mounted and at the, at the back you can see the indicators, stop sign or moving forward or left or right indicators. We have a exhaust fan on the back. You can see the tires, on off switches and all. So we are using supervised learning approach to train our model. In this approach, the training dataset is passed through an algorithm and after that the testing dataset is evaluated upon that model. After the evaluation, that model is used for prediction. Here you can see we are collecting our own dataset of positive or negative images. We are using deep CNN based LXNet model for our training. In this model, we have 5 convolution layers, 3 fully connected layers and 3 max pooling layers. This type of computing traditionally relies on pre-programmed if-then conditionalities. For example, if the object ahead is too close, then apply brakes. This is the working video of our project. As you can see, the car is moving forward. We have a slider on the right side. As the slider bar goes above 0.5, it turns its traction. As you can see, it avoided the staircase as well as the railing. Here's another video of our project. car is moving in the straight direction and as soon as obstacle comes it changes its direction after avoiding the obstacle it again starts moving in straight direction here's the final video of our project as we can see it is avoiding obstacles here's a view of jupiter notebook where we can see real time input from camera car moves in the straight path after avoiding the obstacle In the future work, we can replace our Jetson Nano by a more powerful GPU such as Xavier. We can also use a better USB camera instead of CSI and we can use two cameras instead of one for front or back view. That's all from us. Additionally, our final year project has been declared as best FYP amongst our batch. I hope you liked it too. Thank you.